Hiya Beth, super session today. Just to recap on the work that we did. First of all, if you look far left, uh, far too much of a move off the golf ball. You've been trying to practice moving off it a little bit and unfortunately that weight moving to your right hand side in your upper body has now caused you to move off the ball too much. Consequently, you're going to struggle to get back to if we watch your first move down. There's just no way from the you can get back to the ball. You stay behind it. Now you run the risk of hitting the ground behind the ball. So as a result, the elbows start to divide to prevent that happening. So all in all, that position where you move off it is not a good way of consistently making solid contact or creating power. What we want to see is a little bit more of a centre move. You can see here that initially you don't move off it quite as much. However, as the swing progresses, there is a little bit too much movement off it, but much better than it was previously. Now, one of the thoughts I gave you was to try and feel like, ideally, we want to get you round about where the yellow line is. And you can see the difference between the two is a little bit more left tilt. Yeah, so the, the swing here, the second swing along, the spine is tilted towards the target a little bit more than you see on the left. But ideally, you want to stay centred. The drill I've given you for that, and I want you to work hard on it between now and when we get together next, is where you have your head up against the wall. You can do it in the house and just make some swings. You don't need a club. Just let your arms hang freely in front of you and just make some swings. That's going to stabilise the upper body and give you that nice feeling of staying centred that you see in all good plays. If you want to see a great example of that, go on YouTube, click on Martin Keimer and just watch the backswing that he makes. There is no movement off the golf ball. If we take a little look at you then from down the line, this is superb at setup. The setup's looking really, really good. And as I suggested, take a little bit of time to compare that to your initial session. Far, far improved. And like I said, it is showing signs. You had a couple of shots there today that would dramatically improve on what you've hit in the past. First move away now because of that better setup position is much more one piece. Club goes back nicely, doesn't get rolled behind you quite as much. So that's a great move there. Brought about largely because we've improved the setup position if we look at it from face on. We've got the hands level with the inside of the left thigh, so the handle's over the top of the golf ball. We were getting the hands a little bit too far forward at the start of your session. So I'll just move that back up to the top of your backswing. Much better position than halfway back from down the line. Get to that point good, and now the arms should continue around you. But what tends to happen is you start to twist the shaft and try and lift the club up. And we can see the the pen just dropping out as your arms disconnect from your body. So the second stage of your backswing is a little bit too much of a lift rather than the arms continuing around the body. If we compare that to what we see here, now this is the second drill I want you to work on between now and when we get together next. We'd like to see the shaft of the club sitting a little bit more level with your belt buckle, but you'll get the idea when you watch this footage. From that position, the goal swing's nice and simple because everything just works around the body. You can see there the arms work around the body. And you can see how much tighter that right arm is to your right rib cage, keeping your body and your arms connected. So the two drills I need you to work on before we get together next, Beth, are stay more centred so you get your head up against the wall, make some swings with your arms hanging in front of you, stabilising your upper body, stopping that drift off, keeping the weight centred, and also make some baseball style swings in between shots. Remember what you said, it's not necessarily the amount of balls you hit, it's the amount of correct movements you make. So good luck with it, keep working hard and you'll pay dividends very, very soon. Well done.